What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Me and my buddy Cody out here do some fishing in Clearwater, Florida today. Hopefully, we get on something good. A bunch of sheep's head, snapper, trout, redfish, drum, snook, a little bit of everything. Maybe even a tarpon. See what happens. What you got? Another sheep's head? That one looks like it might be a keeper. Nice. I'm getting a bite. Oh. My shoes are a 13, so I just match it to my shoe. <clears throat> as big as my shoe is big enough to keep. Right there. He's probably 14 inches. Yeah, so that should be good. Big. I got a lot of shrimp left. Hey. You think they're going back in the water or they're going in the frying pan? So look. I said they're trying to get back in the water, but they're going in the frying pan. Yeah, shark, the rest of us is shark bait. That's right, shark bait. Seven three degrees right now. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. You want? Oh yeah. I'm getting a bite too. Redfish. Redfish. There we go, dude. Getting the combo out here. Oh, something just got my freaking shrimp, I think. There you go. Oh, let's throw them on the floor, why don't you? We got some snook, we got a redfish, we got some sheep's head. What's next? Hopefully catch tarpon. Tarpon. That's what I'm talking about. See this? That means it should be good luck right there. <laughs> should. I don't know what he had, but... I guess it's a good look. Damn. Good luck for you, I'm hung up. Shut my weight up. Just a little different. Use the crab? You putting the crab on? Is that what you said? Try it. Shrimp's working, but you never know. Might catch a big old black drum. Catch a big old black drum on the crab. There's one. There's one. Oh yeah. Is that a snapper? Sheep head. Is it? Yeah, it's a little mini baby sheep head. But it's a fish. I'll take it. Right in the eyeball. Hey, you shit on me. 
Come on, bro. Right back to the pillar. Wonder if I can catch another one on this same shrimp. Nah, I'll throw that in. Alright, let's try one of these fucking Mac Daddy shrimps out. I haven't thrown one yet. I've just been throwing these little tiny shrimps. Where'd you uh, pitch it at? Back the day. Just like this. Just like that. But the little pitchy, this little one, but it won't hurt you. Little ones pinch, but they don't hurt. something will eat it. <laughs> snook. I think I just got a snook. There we go. Is it a trout? No way! Yes! Solid trout, dude. Oh, yes. Dude. Solid trout. Look at that. He's got some chompers on him. All right, well, we'll definitely keep him too. Good yeah. keeper? Oh yeah, definitely a keeper there. Nice, man, we caught a sheep's head, I mean a trout out here. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Man, we need a something to keep these fish on. Now you have to pull all the dirt. Damn, I just lost one. Are those sheep here? Sheep here? Is it a keeper? Oh yeah. Definitely a keeper, dude. We can pile them up, dude. We can keep eight a piece. We can keep eight sheep's head a piece. There we go. We're good. Yeah. We keep piling them up. That's prime shark bait. Cut them flays off for dinner. Use the rest to catch more fish later. Wait, let's get hung up again.
We need a stringer. Look, Cody's on already. Look, I'm about to be on too. That's a good one. Hell yeah. That's probably a snook. Is it? No, that's a ladyfish. Tell the ladyfish. Keep that shark bait, boy. Yeah, I think it was fighting hard. I want to go in the water. <laughs> Throw it behind the bag. <laughs> oh yeah. There's a guy. Come on. Got one. Probably our lady fish. It's fighting really hard. No, that's a snook. That's a snook. He just jumped out of the water. Huh? Or is it a trout? Yeah, bitch. Wow. Yep. Wow. Oh, yeah. I thought it was another snook. Dude, these are solid trout. They're all like 20 inches. Did you call Caleb? Call him real quick. It's gonna get out of here. Oh, another solid keeper. Compare it to the bucket so you guys can see how big he is. At least 20. Didn't go 20. We're catching them on like the smallest shrimp. Half of them are dead. I guess it really doesn't matter right now. They're just trying to feed. No. So, you use all the best seasonings that you put on everything, of course. A little bit of garlic powder, bone. Get that on there good and thick. I like to put a lot of seasoning on, not just my fish, but everything I eat. Garlic powder, same thing. Coat it up, don't be scared. My man, Cayenne. I like my food a little spicy, so you can cover it up with a little cayenne pepper. Oh, yeah. And then this magic black and red fish seasoning. I use it on all the fish, not just red fish. Just like the Season it up real good, blacken, and then I use the mayonnaise. Mm, looks good already. Flip these bad boys over. I cut them in half just so they would fit in the pan better, but. Same thing, go back in, hit the other side. Like I said, don't be scared of the seasoning. Fill it up. The more seasoning, the better it's gonna taste. Oh. Cayenne, can never have too much pepper on there. Mm. That's gonna be so good. Nice and spicy. A lot of this stuff cooks off when it goes in the grease, so go ahead and put a lot on there. Don't be scared. Oh yeah. Cover the whole fish real nice. Come. 
rub it in there a little bit, you know, patter it in. Just kind of rub all this extra seasoning on there. Get it nice and covered. Mouse watering. This is going to be delicious. Alright, so once you get them all seasoned up like that, get your fingers covered in seasoning. Just take a little bit of mayonnaise. Definitely do not need a lot, just a little bit to kind of make the. Just so you guys can see how much I'm using. Just a little bit. that will make the flour stick to the fish and make it like a nice crusty edge to it just kind of want to wipe that in there no of course I didn't wash my hands why would I do that I'm gonna wash hands around here we go fishing we clean the fish we cook the fish no hand washing involved. Mm. This feels real weird. But, rubber mayonnaise on there. Same thing. Flip it over. Just kind of rub this mayonnaise on there. I don't want a lot of mayonnaise on there. For y'all that think you're gonna taste it, no, you don't taste the mayonnaise, it just fries on there and makes it a good crust. Man, I don't think you really have to use mayonnaise, I'm pretty sure like mustard or any kind of like sauce would do the same shit. But, anyways, you just wanna do it like that, get it looking juicy, just like this, stick it in the flour. It's like you would put it in an egg or something, but you don't need an egg. I feel like an egg puts it too thick on there. I don't like a super thick batter on my fish, but I do like a batter of some sort. So I just flop it around the egg and the flour a little bit. Not the egg. Oh, you see, I'm making a mess. I'm trying to do it. Oh, God. Try and do it one handed and film with the other hand. It's okay, I can clean it up. Anyway, you guys get the picture. Do that until it's done. And then we'll put it in the grease. Alright. Now I got my fish all seasoned up, floured up. My oil's all hot. Got my green beans cooking over there. Set this bad boy in the grease. Oh yeah, look at that nice bubble. I wonder if we can get them all in there. I doubt it. Big boy there. I'm supposed to do like that. Four and four. One, three. Oh, I got this cut up. Doesn't take long, a couple minutes on each side, maybe two, three minutes, and it's done. Pretty basic. You don't want to overcook it. Overcook fish is not the best fish. Well, we'll give that a couple minutes, give it a flip, and that's it. We're gonna cook it with some rice and some green beans. You know how to make rice? Me neither. I just get this crap right here. Throw in the microwave for a minute and a half. Done with it. Alright, we got the rice in the microwave cooking. Got the old green beans on the stove over here cooking. I think it's been about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. Something on my eyes that hurt. I'm gonna flip it real quick. See what we got going on. Ooh, baby.
Not a super thick crust, but it's going to have a nice little crunchy crust on it, I hope. Give it another minute or so, and that'll be done. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull these guys out of the grease. They're looking pretty done. I'm going to for maybe five or six minutes. Slap it on the paper towel with that grease on I don't know. Come on. I'm doing this to me. Oh. Let me skip it. I don't know if that's so good. Let me feel stupid. Alright. It's just time to edit some videos while I eat this fish. That's how you do it right there. Eat some rice. Put it on top with some green beans. Bussin. Hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video because there'll be another one pretty soon, I think. Thanks for watching. Peace.